we've beaten the Dirty Scouts bastards from across the swamp by four goals to three in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. We won it in extra time via Ahmad off the bench, who then got himself sent off with two buckle offences. That's the only blot on his copybook. It was very naive, it was very uh, immature, and it's the only thing that I can criticise him on today. I always love beating the Dirty Scouse Bastards across the swamp. It really, um, I enjoy it. It really, um, you know, brightens up uh, your day in any way, shape, in any way, shape, and form. I love seeing Klopp's face to, at the end of it, where he was downtrodden, he was upset, he was angry, uh, he was defeated, and you're not going to win any more trophies. The FA Cup is your lot, and this will shut the scouts up because you really talk absolute dribble on a regular basis. You talk as much dribble equally as Newcastle fans do, and I'll get to Newcastle in a moment. Uh, Liverpool's arrogance was their downfall. You know, they had chances, they didn't take them. Uh, at 2-1, it's always a fragile scoreline, and so it proved, and so it was 3-2 to them, that was a fragile scoreline. And they capitulated while uh, we delivered and scored in Fergie time, virtually. So, it's good. You know, we've got semi-final at Wembley, we're going to face Coventry, who were managed by Mark Robbins, who once upon a time sucked to save uh, Tanag's job. Um, I don't think we're going to win the FA Cup. I think City will win the, the FA Cup. I think City will win the Premier League, or better still, Arsenal will. Liverpool don't have a cat in hell chance of doing that. I need to take another way uh, to the bank. Uh, I thought McTominay was outstanding. The weight of pass to play into Rashford's path, and he took it with a plot. And I bet there was loads of people on social media going, why is Bertomini on the pitch? I asked myself the same question with Maino. I thought Maino, that was one of the worst performances ever in a Man United shirt. He nearly cost us that match. Bertomini was brilliant throughout it. He deserved to be on that football pitch. He's bailed Tanag out a lot of times. And you could say he's done that again. He saved Tanag's job. He scored the opening goal and he set up Rashford for the final. And, Rashford, and actually Bertomini, he could have won it when it was... 3-3. Uh, free, free. There's a glorious chance to do that. But he's been spectacular this season. And the more you hate on him, the better he becomes. So you you continue to hate on McTominay. Don't hate, appreciate. But everything you do, the drops in terms you use uh, uh, toward against him, you just make yourself look stupid. Because McTominay is here to stay. He's a great player. He's got personality. He's got charisma. right? He always delivers to his public like me. That always back him every single week. He's seen fairly well, keep it up. His best ever goal scoring season. And it's no coincidence that now he's not in the shadows of Fred anymore, that McTominay's produced the goods. He's scored more goals this season than ever before. He's got more goals than Rodri, right? Um, he's got the most goals off the subs bench. Once, a couple of weeks ago, he was the top scorer for Man United. So, Give the guy some credit, because we all know the far top reds, the equivalent of the witches of Eastwick, want him out of the football club. But I tell you something, he's here to fucking stay. And the sooner you realise that, the better. And I would still sell Rashford, despite him popping up um, with the goals. You know? And we should be beating Liverpool. Every time we face Liverpool, we should be, you know, happy uh, and winning against them. I mean, because they're the enemy, so I do expect the players to give it more than 100%. You know, they delivered when they need to, and they delivered again tonight. But that doesn't excuse. Tanak still needs to go. He still needs to go. But we're not going to win the FA Cup anyway. You know what I mean? Because we'll probably get more injuries, and that will and that will derail us again. You know, we've been to more games at Wembley uh, than Newcastle have. Right? And it's funny, isn't it, doing Nigel Farage here, where certain YouTube channel with the Geordies why I man them sort of cunts I hate them I really hate them um, with a passion they just you know what the problem with them is they just can't keep our name out of their fat mouths it's interesting that isn't it you hate us because you hate us you aspire to be like Man United that's what you aspire to be but I'll tell you something you won't 
because we are the actual United. You're not. If you conducted a survey outside the midst of social media, what's the first thing that pops into your head when you go United or go Man United? They won't go Newcastle United because Newcastle United are a small club. They don't even know who you are. You know what I mean? And one of the YouTube channels, you know, they say us Man United fans are from Manchester, right? From, from London. But there's only one Geordie representing them on that channel. It's a bit rich, isn't it? Pot meat kettle. Those in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Point fingers in one direction and fingers will point back at you, right? You're a disgrace, Newcastle fans. You are an absolute disgrace uh, to the Premier League. You're a small, microscopic club. You didn't finish above us last season when we gave you a head start, and history's repeated itself because you won't finish above us, right? And that, on behalf of the Man United, the actual Man United, Man United, on behalf of us all, we want Eddie Howe to stay. I think Eddie Howe's doing a great job. So I hope you keep Tanag, uh, keep uh, Howe uh, forevermore. And you may be saying the same about, about Tanag, but it's fine. Tanag's going to go anyway, because we're not going to win the FA Cup, and we're not going to finish top five, top four. So there we go. So I'm pretty happy with what we did today. Great, a great win. wasn't the best performance in the world, but we stuck at it. We got through, and now we can enjoy a two-week uh, break from all domestic action. And then, yeah, that, as they say in the movies, is a wrap from me for now.